So we made it to New York. We had a wonderful dinner last night and I just got dressed and I am ready to head out. I think I'm gonna take either the ferry or the subway over to Brooklyn to visit Yoseka Stationery. I'm looking forward to today. I'm all packed and ready to go. So I'm so excited. All right, let's go have some fun. Hi everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Lori. Welcome to Time with Tata if you are new here. Today I am excited to share with you a haul from one of my favorite stationery stores in Brooklyn, New York called the Oseka Stationery. I'm sure many of you know and love Yoseka as much as I do. I went to Yoseka for the first time in person last December. I was fortunate enough to meet one of the owners, Daisy, who is so lovely. This year, it was really quiet when I went in. I ventured over to Brooklyn all on my own. I felt like such a big girl on the subway, figuring it all out while my husband was at work. I got there right when they opened. They didn't open until two o'clock, two o'clock, one o'clock. It was on a Wednesday, I believe. So make sure if you're visiting Yoseka, you check out the hours before you get there. I went up the street and did some shopping at a thrift store and some local shops. I got some lunch before I went there. Greenpoint is a really fun area in Brooklyn, so you can definitely make a day of it if you're going to venture over to visit Yoseka. So my intention was to purchase the Sailor Pro Gear fountain pen, the Moroccan Tea, Kiss on the 21 karat gold nib, beautiful limited edition series pen. I had vowed that I was all done buying sailor pens, but I really, really loved the milky color of the barrel of this, and it's just it's just beautiful. It spoke to me. I really wanted it. I've given some thought to completing the three pen series from Yoseka. They have released three of their own sailor pens. The first one was the Origin pen, which was green. The second one was the Refresh, which I purchased last December when I went there, and it's in kind of like a minty blue color. And then more recently, they finished their little trilogy with their home sailor pen, which is my favorite and I bought that in a Pro Gear. It was the first Pro Gear pen that I had ever purchased. I typically have purchased the Pro Gear Slims, and I feel like now there's no going back. I still love my Pro Gear Slims. I just probably won't be buying any more Pro Gear Slims unless they're a super, super good deal or pattern that I can't live without. The Origin pen is the only one that I don't have, but in order to purchase that in the Pro Gear size, it's pretty pricey. So this was over $100 less than that to get this kiss on, and it looked like online that they had it. When I got there, they were sold out. So then I was like, what am I gonna do? Because that was my plan going in. One of the other main reasons I wanted to go in person is because I know some of their stuff sells out online, but they hold back a few items for people who are shopping in store. One of those items was their Traveler's Company insert that Ashley designed. It was available online and I didn't think it was going to sell out so fast, but it did. And I think Amy said that they would be restocking hopefully in January. Please don't quote me on that, but I think that's what she said but I was able to get one in store and this is just so beautiful um, I love the design that Ashley did on this this is supposed to feature the table at Yoseka which is Lumpy's like throwing his treat to himself and then barking at it this is what it 
looks like during the day that's the concept and then Ashley designed the back for evenings like if you're peering into the window at Yoseka and it really is such a special special shop I just love this place so I spent well over an hour there and it's not a big space if you've been into Yoseka I just kept like doing laps around that table testing pens looking at all of the nice things one of the surprises that I didn't realize about this insert is that it's Tomoe River paper and so I don't have a single traveler's notebook insert with um, this paper so thin so beautiful really makes this special in my opinion i was thrilled that they had a couple of these available i only purchased one i'm so happy that i got it also something that i wanted to try out that sold out on online but they had available in store was the yoseka lab planner insert that a couple of the employees designed at the store. The concept behind Yoseka Lab was to design a little sampler planner, is my understanding, where they show like different layouts. You can get a taste for what you enjoy in your planner. Um, my intention with this is to maybe take it on a trip um, or maybe just use it over the course of a month or two and just try all of the different ones. This was like only $10 and it was sold out online. So I wanted to give it a shot. The paper is beautiful. It was designed by Amy and Bethany. So I was so excited to get my hands on this and have some fun. Oh my gosh, I just had to pause because when I saw that this was designed by Amy in an instant. I knew I was calling Alex Amy this entire time. I even gave credit to Amy for helping me at Yoseka and it was Alex the whole time. I just went back and watched the planner video on Yoseka and, and Alex and Amy are back to back. Oh my gosh, Alex, I am so sorry. Alex was so tremendous in helping me. I have been saying her name wrong like this entire time. So Alex, is who helped me at the store. Amy and Bethany are who designed the Yoseka lab. Alex, I am so sorry. She was so helpful and so patient with me. So that was one of the store exclusives that I also picked up. I also grabbed this little stamp. The quick fox jumped over the lazy dog. This is a Yoseka exclusive, also sold out online. I was just having fun getting all the little special things. Um, that you could only get in store and something that I love so much about Yoseka is how much of a family they are and how Neil and Daisy encourage their staff to come up with their creative projects. It's just the type of environment that is so welcoming and so creative and I love that about Yoseka. So I wanted to pick up the stamp. I think this would be really cute for some little ink samples in my journal. Um, I also picked up the customized sticker set from the Traveler's Notebook of the town. I didn't go crazy this year with all of the inserts. I didn't get the folder. I got a couple things though. I do love the stickers. These also have all the other inserts that you can use in your Traveler's Notebook. Um, some of their staple things like the little icons, like the little travel icons and things like that. They have some really fun inserts. So I think this one is very much worth getting. I also spent some time working in my Traveler's Notebooks. I worked a little bit on my Japan trip, but I quickly realized that because I'm doing my memory keeping in my traveler's notebooks, I really need pictures. And I have the little, the little printable camera printer um, that prints out the little pictures. I can't think of the brand right now, but I didn't have it with me. So as I was journaling and working through my pages in my traveler's notebook, I was really just missing having images from my trip. So I put things on hold. I did a few pages, but I need to revisit that. One of the other things that I wanted to get was this ink by Lennon Toolbar. This is called Sun Moon Lake Black Tea. I believe in a recent video, Daisy said that this was her favorite ink. Although I got Alex's name wrong, so I may have gotten this wrong too. Either way, I really like this color. It's right up my alley. It's one of these like kind of rusty, pink, warm, brownish tones. Like I just can't get enough of these and I keep buying different versions of it, but I've never used this ink before. So I took this opportunity to get it and I have purchased a new um, Sailor Realo pen that just came in and I inked it up with this. It's a little more orange tone than the maroon of that pen, but the writing is absolutely beautiful and it's a little bit more subtle. It's not quite as bold, which I like because I, I usually have very sh harsh contrasting like dark brown colors 
and I struggle with lighter colors so I felt like this was that perfect medium and it's really pretty and it has a lot of like sheening in it or shading that is very pretty also while I was there you guys know if you've been watching me for a while that I'm on the eternal quest to find good ink that's like a pink brown that matches my scribo madalena and so we tried this terra de fue this urbine and this is this is only like six dollar ink it's not expensive i love this little size i sampled this in store and i thought it was a great little match so i haven't inked it up yet because i'm using some of the ink that's in my um, scribo right now but i thought that was fun and then I almost bought the Pentel Green Yoseka Exclusive Pen, but when I used it, it felt a little heavy. It's really a beautiful pen, and I wanted to get it because it was that Yoseka Green, which I really love. But then they had so many pens out on the table, and in the time that I was there, I tried this Sarasa Grand. This wrote so beautiful in store, and it was about $10 less, and I was like, you know, I actually think I like this one better. So I went for this. kind of has this satin finish. It's just so pretty. It feels fancy. So what I really was thinking about when I purchased this was how it would look with my Louis Vuitton rings planner. Isn't that so nice? This is tricky to find a pen that works with this hole because it's smaller. The pen hole is smaller. And this is just so nice. Look at that match. It's really so nice. So I think this will be just a good thing to keep on my desk and just keep it permanently in here. It's just a really pretty pen. I think this was like $16. I don't have many non-fountain pens that I get excited about. I am a sucker for Lori Term notebooks. I love these notebooks. Since I started doing my morning pages, I've really explored a lot of different notebooks. Right now, I'm in an Archer and Olive, which is a gorgeous notebook. It's a little heavier than what I like for daily writing, but it's still a wonderful writing experience. In the month of July and a little into August, I used a Rhodia notebook. I didn't enjoy that as much. I know people love Rhodia paper, but there's something about the, the coating on it that I don't always Always love. As it turns out, these Leutrum notebooks are just my favorite for my morning pages. I'm sure I will continue to explore more notebooks just because I love to pick up notebooks. I recently ordered a smaller size, like an A6 notebook, because I've been really inspired by Helen over at Coffee Monsters Co. with her little um, bullet journals. I think they're so cute. So I'm going to explore that. I got a little black one and then I got another, like a mossy green one just for my morning pages. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one. This is a horizontal opening um, and I think it's really special. I think this might be really good for some ink sampling or I wanna think of something special to do with this notebook. With everything that I bought, I still spent a lot less than I would have spent on that one pen and I really had a good time. So I'm happy the way things worked out. I did have a little extra budget so I picked this up because I don't always see this like side to side horizontal layout for these notebooks. I don't think it's a dot grid. I think it's just plain pages, just white pages. Um, it's just a little sketchbook, which I really like, so I'm sure I will put that to good use. And lastly is the pen that I ended up buying, and I had no intention of buying this pen. And you know how sometimes things just guide you in a certain direction? There was a gentleman who was in the shop for a while while I was there, and he was talking about how he loved his Twisby Mini, that it was the only fountain pen that he used, and I think he was looking for some ink for his Twisby. And then Alex, not Amy, Alex said that that her Twisby Mini was her absolute favorite pen. It's a very small shop, so you can hear what everybody's saying. So I was listening to them talk and they were going back and forth about how much they loved the Mini. And one of the thoughts that I've been having lately with my pens is when I first started with my fountain pen collection and journey, I used to really feel passionate about posting my pens. Like it meant a lot to me to be able to post a pen. I liked the look of it. If I couldn't post a pen, I didn't enjoy it as much and I'm kind of over that now I like I like weighty pens but then when I'm writing I can get tired when I'm using them I don't post my Twisby Egos I don't post a lot of my Leonardo's my Scribo doesn't post my Mont Blanc 149 I don't post that and I miss posting pens recently when I was in Japan I got a Sailor Mini and I really love that I can post that I was thinking about how I could post the 
Twisby Mini and have that experience that I miss a little bit. Anyway, I ended up coming home with a Twisby Mini in white with rose gold trim in a medium nib. And I am so excited about this pen. In fact, I'm working on a video with all of my like pocket pens or mini pens. I've been really enjoying them. Also, I've been inspired by my friend Vanessa. She has the little baby Mont Blanc in white and kind of reminds me of this. It's small, it's got a uh, red, detailing on the finial, I believe. I thought this is a much more affordable little fix and I wanted to try it out. So I've loved it. When Alex unboxed this for me, she was like, happy new pen day. And I, I realized, you know, don't we all celebrate when we get new pens? So I thought that was really sweet. And then she let me choose an ink from the ink wall to do my first fill. I was thinking that I was going to fill it with my Lenin tool, and she's like, no, no, you can pick any color from the wall. And I'm like, oh, what is your favorite color? So she shared with me what her favorite color is, and it's called Cat at Dusk. And I can't remember the brand of this, but I will write it on the screen for you. It's called Cat at Dusk, and it's like a bluish gray. It's really pretty. Alex is an artist, and she says that she sketches with this pen and ink combo all the time, that her pen is always inked up with this color, and that it layers really nicely. So she's right about that. It really is beautiful, and I find that when I was write, writing in my Archer and Olive notebook, the, that paper just absorbed this ink and I found that I had to press down a little bit more. But when I was writing in my Hobonichi on the Tomoe River paper, it really looked beautiful and I found that it was more legible on that notebook paper. I would recommend using this on like thinner Tomoe River or like the Leutrum notebook paper. Anyway, I thought it was special that Alex shared her favorite ink with me and that that was the first ink that I used. And I, I just like to use inks that I don't always migrate to. If it were up to me, I feel like every ink that I would choose would be like brown or rust. I'm so drawn in by those colors. So I thought it was really wonderful that she shared her favorite color with me and that that was my first ink on my Twisby Mini. And I love the size of this. I love the little red finial. I love the white and the rose gold trim. If you've watched my channel before, you may know that I misplaced. I don't know where it is. It's the only pen I've ever lost, but I cannot find my Twisby Eco white with rose gold trim. I have recently purchased the smoke with the rose gold trim, and I also got the blue indigo with the bronze trim. I really like the special trims on the Twisby pens. It just feels a little bit special. I am super excited about this, and I would not be surprised if this little mini becomes my favorite pen. So I love how things just kind of work out in the end. I got this entire haul for a lot less than I would have spent on that one pen. And it turned out to be such a meaningful trip. I am so excited that I came home with the Twisby Mini and that I got all of the special things from Yoseka, like the stamp and the Traveler's Notebook insert and just all of the little special things that make Yoseka so special to me. So that is all for my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you've ever purchased from Yoseka Stationery. They truly are a special store and a special group of people. If you ever have the chance to visit when you're in Brooklyn, I would highly, highly recommend it. Thank you all for watching so much. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more from me, and I will be back soon with another video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.